welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another long, long, long overdue review video. I'm so sorry. Hopefully you guys are still interested in these palettes because boy, I sure am. And I thought I needed to get this out into the universe because you guys needed to know how amazing I think these palettes are. I also just ordered their new palette, which I didn't need, um, but I didn't want to miss out. FOMO is a real thing, you guys, and I didn't want to miss out. Even though the shades, I'm like, no, 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 I'm gonna wear all those colors. Um, I was like, you know what, I'll buy it and we'll see how it goes. So I did buy the new palette. Hopefully it'll be here by the end of this week and I can get some swatches going for you guys and hopefully try and review it for you before like the Sephora sale because I'm sure some of you want to pick it up by then. If you haven't figured out what this video is about, I'm just gonna be reviewing I want to call this the triple threat <laughs> when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. I feel like these are the new Urban Decay Naked series. Like I just love, love, love. And I have actually been collecting Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes for a long, long time. Like almost, I've missed the first few, but I think the first one I got was the Amrezy one. And I did declutter those because they were just old and I didn't want to keep hoarding them because I wasn't going to put them on my eyes. So now I only have the Master Palette by um, Makeup by Mario. I have one that called the World Traveler. That one is beautiful and I think I might hold on to that one. I got rid of like the Self Made and blah, 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 blah. And then I have these ones. So I love my Modern Renaissance. I don't think I was filming reviews consistently on YouTube when this one came out. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty well loved. There's a few little dents. I have the hardest time using up eyeshadow palettes, you guys. So like, I feel like I show a palette and it pretty much looks brand new, but this one I love. I'm not really gonna review this one, but uh, six month shelf life, it's lasted me forever. I don't even know when these first came out, but I'm pretty sure I've had this palette for over two years. They all reach out for $42 and Anastasia Beverly Hills is cruelty free. In case you guys were wondering, the Norvina palette is the not the most recent anymore because they just launched sultry but this is the one they came out with last and again i was on the fence because i was like oh my gosh i don't know like will it be too purpley like will i not wear it because purple isn't really like i like berry tones but like straight up purple i'm like Ugh, you know it's like whatever i love this palette not really for like wild child and celestial which most people would think that's why you bought the palette but i love all the shimmers in here the neutral shimmers dreamer summer rose gold dazzling drama i've worn all of those on my lid i love the shade passionate i love the shade uh, eccentric i love the shade base to just put in my brow bone so i really really like this palette i think this is a great work appropriate everyday wearable palette but you can also really you can amp this up and even wear something at like nighttime. you can throw this in the crease or all over your lid create some really beautiful smoky eye looks i love this palette you guys i do not regret purchasing it one bit and then before this came Soft Glam and this one, everyone was kind of like, nah, it's like so boring. Like, why would you buy it? And I actually held out. I was very proud of myself. I didn't buy this right away as soon as it came out, which I was previously good at doing. I would always buy, like, as soon as it came out, I bought the Prism palette. I bought the Subculture palette. I did end up sending the Subculture back because ABH did let you return it, which was amazing. The Prism palette I sold on my Poshmark because I was not getting any use out of it. And I'm trying to be more cutthroat with my eyeshadow palette collection because you guys know I have a ton of freaking eyeshadow. So I'm trying to do a better job of like cycling through. If I'm not using something, it's going on my Poshmark. It's getting decluttered or it's going to a friend because I'm not trying to keep more than I need. But anyway, through it all, I decided I needed this palette. And oh my gosh, again, another knockout palette. The shimmers are beautiful. This is just like one of those palettes that I can reach for if I was like if I was going to get married again, I would use this palette because it's so beautiful. The shimmers are gorgeous. The mattes are perfect for my skin tone. I'm obsessed. Like I know people like say that word all the time. They're like, "Oh yeah, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed." But I really am obsessed with these ABH palettes, which is why I bought the Sultry one because I feel like if I didn't buy it, I would have felt like I was missing out. So 
We'll see how it goes. I'm excited. Also, just want to mention, I actually really like these brushes. I know people always complain about the ABH brushes, but I really like them. This is a really good crease brush. As you can see, these have gotten very good use. And I love this for packing on um, eyeshadow or even doing like a smoky outer V. Amazing brushes. I also do like the carpet packaging. I think it looks really like different and classy. I don't know. These shades... Oh my gosh, when I saw the nude, I was just like, oh my god, I need it. So I love all these three palettes. I'm excited for the Soul True palette. Let me know down in the comments if you have any of these palettes. If you don't have any of these palettes, I want to know why you guys haven't picked these up. Like, are you almost like, are they too good to be true? Because trust me, they are worth every cent you spend on them. So that is it for my ABH love letter. I hope you enjoyed. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.